Good evening, everybody. Welcome to this Tuesday, March the 29th edition of Lehigh Valley Sports Scene. Dan Freemuth with you as part of the Service Electric Network. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Lots to get to on tonight's program. Men's tennis is the focus of this week's installment of Lehigh Sports Central. As Steve Degler chats with Mountain Hawks head coach Woder Hendricks, along with senior Zach Elliott. Plus, we hit the ice for this week's edition of Top Plays, checking out some of the best goals scored by the Lehigh Valley Phantoms this season. But we begin this evening's program with high school boys volleyball. A busy night on the hard court across the East Penn Conference yesterday. Our highlights begin in Whitehall with an er intriguing early season showdown between the Zephyrs and Easton Red Rovers. Whitehall already with a signature win under its belt, topping defending district champion Parkland on Friday. Easton, meanwhile, took the defending league champs in Emmaus to five sets in a season opening setback late last week. Cassie Schmidt joins us with highlights and reaction from last night's clash between the Rovers and Zephs. Senior outside hitter Tori Tyson was coming off a team high 17 kill effort in Whitehall's victory over Parkland, hoping for the same energy in Monday night's contest with Easton. Tommy Buzkirk playing a nice role in the Zephyr's hot start. They would jump out to a 10-3 advantage. Buzkirk with two kills during that span. However, a couple unforced errors by the Zephs would help Easton get within four. But that's the closest the Rovers would get in set one. Jack Cucker with some big kills down the stretch and three in the set. They'll close things out with the block. Home team takes set one 25-19. Easton would hang tight with Whitehall throughout set two, the biggest lead only by six. Justin Cassieres would bring the Rovers within four, trailing 12 to eight, but able to close things out once more was Whitehall thanks to a crucial five to two run capped off by a Tyson kill. He'd have nine through the first two sets and a team high 14 on the night. Whitehall up two sets to none. Even though Easton would go toe to toe with Whitehall, they'd never lose control in this one. It was another good defensive showing from libero Aiden Summer. He'd follow up his 28 dig performance on Friday with another 20 in this one. Zephyrs get the close out from Devin Donatelli in set three. They'll take it by a 25-23 final, winning it in straight sets. Yeah, I think our defense is pretty good. One of the top in the league. Um, as a libero, I guess, you know, I have, a, I have somewhat of a part of that. But our DS Gavin is really good. Uh, our outsides play pretty good defense. And our opposite play, Devin, he plays good defense too. I mean, we're going into every night expecting to win. And uh, th tonight we expected to, to do way better than we did. I mean, our energy levels were low. Some guys were off, some guys were on. I mean, that's not an excuse. We always, if somebody's off, you just need to pick them up, pick their spot up and just keep going. But yeah, we didn't do a good job of that tonight. Uh, energy, number one, uh, just wasn't there tonight. You know, it's, it, it was there for Parkland. Uh, you know, we can't make the excuse that you get up for Parkland. You got to get up for everybody. We have a target on our back. That's what we want. You know, teams are going to come in here and try to try to beat you, and, and they're going to try to play their best, which you know Easton did. And we just got to be better. The Zephs are pretty well aware that they're one of the teams to beat this season. So with that, you're going to get everybody's best shot. But head coach George Kowich would still like to see some consistency out of his team, no matter the level of play they'll see each night. We played defense. We serve received pro probably, you know, best we did in a long time. So I'm happy with that. Our guys are really good. We're flying around. We're playing D. Uh, you know, a couple things offensively. We have a good offensive team, but we have to be more consistent. You know, guys can't be blasting balls, you know, out of bounds, you know, on a consistent basis here. So, you know, that's something that we're going to fix. We just need to come into every match with the same mentality, no matter if it's Parkland, no matter who it is, that it's like a championship game and we need to win by whatever we can win by. On the scene at Whitehall, I'm Cassie Schmidt reporting for the SC Network. Thanks a lot, Cassie. So another big night for Whitehall's Tory Tyson. 14 kills, 9 digs, 4 assists, and 2 aces. Devin Donatelli, meanwhile, with a stat-stuffing performance of his own. 7 kills, 7 assists to go along with 8 digs. Whitehall gets the Pocono Mountain teams next. East on Wednesday, West on Friday. Easton, meanwhile, takes another crack at win number 1 on the season. Wednesday against Bethlehem Catholic before hosting Liberty on Friday. 